This is NDTV. And you're watching NDTV Prime. In association with Micromax. Nothing like anything. Pioneer in social innovations, Hitachi has been delivering cutting-edge products, services and solutions for over a hundred years. In India, the market has not looked more exciting than ever before and Hitachi is clearly making waves with a number of new projects and its businesses getting new and new momentum. It's such a pleasure to have with us here today on the show, the MD, the Managing Director of Hitachi India, Mr. Ichiro Ino. Sir, thanks so much uh, for sparing time to talk to us here. Thank you very much for having me today. Let me start by getting a sense from you on the environment that uh, the Indian market presents today. We clearly have a new government in place and a new government that's uh, coming up with plenty of new ideas of doing business. Uh, how is Hitachi really planning to take advantage of that space? Just like uh, everybody, uh, we have been waiting for the long standing, strong, stable government. And then we think the Modi government would be like that. And then, as people uh, expect, we have been uh, in the business of the social innovations. It is uh, to help the Indian government, the India, transform itself in terms of uh, building the social infrastructure. And we are the service provider to help build such a transformations for India. It's nice that you talk about uh, that space because that's a space that clearly excites uh, Indian policy makers right now. We've also seen a lot of uh, engagement happening between India and Japan of late. The chemistry that we saw between the two leaders, the fact that they've committed to taking this partnership, especially on the business front, to a new level. How can India really leverage from that position right now? Because we're seeing plenty of excitement, plenty of investments coming in from Japan. Uh Yes, the Japanese government uh, uh, made the commitment when Mr. Modi uh, visited Japan. Uh, big amount of inv investment into the five for the next five years. I believe it is very important for the both government to carefully forge the strong team to uh, come up with a uh, uh, very good plan to invest such a valuable investment into building the source. Uh, infrastructure of India right. because and then we need a strong team uh, jointly forged by the uh, uh, India and the Japanese government. A strong team indeed and, and we're talking about an infrastructure deficit of over one trillion dollars for India and clearly we need partners like the Japanese companies to come in and bridge that deficit for us. In terms of specific plans and ideas and thoughts on how India should go forward and what it needs to do to sh ensure that it can engage with partners like Hitachi. Uh, so many people are pleased to see that the Indian government is started to uh, sell uh, its, uh, its national asset uh, of the PSU to generate a revenue, which is very important uh, for both of us to generate a revenue internally uh, on top of the FDI or uh, Japanese financing. I think it is very important for India to generate the money by itself. Right. Uh, relaxing the FDI is also good for bringing the money from the outside. Right. Uh, and uh, then uh, streamlining PPP. I think Indian government is trying to set up some special team, uh, 3P right. India, to stream, stream, streamline the problems of PPP. Those uh, combination of the uh, you know, uh, methodology would create the financial uh, uh, bankable opportunity for the project, I believe. Okay, but when we talk about specific areas that excite you today, you've been in the Indian market for many, many decades now, but the business environment that India presents right now is perhaps very different than what you had seen. You yourself mentioned political stability is what we're seeing right now. Given the current business environment, which are the areas within Hitachi that you are now focusing on as far as the Indian markets go, perhaps even accelerating? Again, uh, as we said, we are trying to engage in uh, social innovations. So we want to be always 
close to the needs of the society. And from that perspective, we are looking at energy, mm -hmm. which is very important for this country. And then uh, water, and then gas, distributions, and then mobility, including uh, uh, tr mass transit, railway systems, or uh, building elevators and escalator things. And then health cares. But, and also, we would like to utilize our uh, differentiated technology of IT, uh, going through the, all the verticals of those uh, uh, business, business segment. Those are what we are looking at. Let's look at each of these verticals because each of these verticals are very exciting but large uh, challenges in their, in their own way. Uh, would you like to come up with a wish list that you would have for the Indian government, perhaps addressing each of these verticals on what they need to do to make sure they are attracting the right investments as well as the right uh, social innovations and projects? I think uh, uh, we like to define, the, because the Indian government is coming up with a large, a bold plan right now. But we like to work together to define, articulate what the exact, you know, real sc specific uh, and the realistic s scope of a project will be. And then uh, also, uh, in the past, we have been disturbed by the difference of, uh, between the central government and the state government policy. Right. We want to have the uniform policy between the central government and the state, the state government. So that, and also we need to have build up the trustworthy relationship between the government and the private sectors. It has never been such a strong trust relationship in the past, but we need to build up the trustworthy relationship, a strong relationship, so that we can work together to build the infrastructure in India. It's an important message you're giving uh, to the Indian government to build that trust because many believe there was a trust deficit really. Do you think something has changed in the last six months ever since the new government came to power to give that assurance to foreign investors that they are committed to building that trust? Uh, we are seeing uh, uh, such a move in various opportunity. In the last week I attended the World Economic Forums. There are lots of discussion around that uh, we need a trust and the government officials is also uh, telling strongly that uh, they need to build a trust with the private sector. And I think uh, we have to come up with where we can work together, how we can work together. Uh, instead of talking about a big project, we need to come down to on the table to discuss where we can work together. It, it's interesting that Hitachi is focusing a lot on social innovations. I'd like you to explain to our viewers why social innovation and how you intend to take that larger message forward. Innovation is understandable, but why social innovation? Uh, innovation is a big word. Right. And could uh, inspire the people to come up with a new idea. Uh, because uh, and we, uh, we know that, uh, we know that the ro regional requirements is always unique. So uh, people like us coming from Japan or coming from everywhere to India has to be a little bit innovative to uh, adjust yourself yeah. to meet the local needs. So, and then we have to address social needs because emerging country, you have lots of uh, deficit in the social infrastructure. Sure. So we combine sociality and the innovation together to address the business uh, that is required in, in uh, emerging countries in the market. What about the area of healthcare? That's another area you're focusing on and clearly plenty of social innovations needed there as well. Uh, within health, the healthcare space, uh, what according to you is it that Hitachi can bring to the table when we talk about social innovations in healthcare? Uh, we are trying to be the service provider to the medical and healthcare industries. We are not going into the medical treatment service itself. We are not going to the healthcare treatment service itself. We are trying to provide the services to the hospitals and healthcare institute. Uh, we are now trying to engage uh, in the uh, uh, diagnosis, diagnostic of the cancer uh, services. So we are trying to be a service provider to those areas. All right, we have also announced your India Business Strategy 2015 towards the goal of, you know, larger goal of contributing to the Indian society. Share with us the blueprint of that India Business Strategy. Uh, Yes, we have uh, announced the Indi India Business Strategy and then uh, it is consists of the uh, lots of verticals uh, including we have large construction machinery business in India uh, and we also manufacturing the air conditioning equipment in the uh, uh, state of Gujarat. We are, make, uh, we are, we have, uh, we are employing over 2,000 
software solution uh, engineers in uh, Hyderabad. So it's a combination of uh, uh, heavy machinery, uh, uh, home appliances, softwares, IT, and then we are going into the energy, water, gas. Those are the combination uh, that represent social innovation for Hitachi. We slip into a quick break at this point. We continue our conversation with the Hitachi MD on the other side. <laughs>